Ah, Luther Vandross, I love that song. Oh, that is such song. a great song. And this is such a great concert. And you know what? I went to find out when he passed. He passed on July 1st, 2005. Short life. Yeah, short life. Brilliant 54 vocalist. years old when he passed away. Yeah. Very sad. Anyway, this is my second guest for Monterey on tonight in the second hour. This is Scott so Soifer. Soifer, that's Soifer. Right. Thank you. Scott Soifer. Like surfer with a... Like a surfer only With a, a Brooklyn soy. accent. There Soifer. You. Soifer, yeah. And Scott's a great guy, and I met him over at Juice and Java and PG, walked in there, and I said, who are you? And he goes, I'm the new owner. I said, oh, what happened to Frank Morris? My, you know, because I'm Gary Morris. <laughs> no <laughs> relation. Right. No relation. Where's Frank Morris? He's, oh, he sold his place to me. So how'd that happen? I want to hear how that happened. So um, about eight months ago, I was getting ready to set up for open mic. I helped set up for it. You and were going because you were a singer. I'm a musician. I'm a musician. guitarist and guitarist okay. and singer. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And um, Frank was just sharing that the deal he thought was going to happen with a friend of his, uh, of a family friend, did not happen. And as we were talking, he goes, "You know, Scott, you're a businessman and you love this place. Why don't you buy it?" I never thought of that. You never thought of it. Wow. <laughs> and I'm caring for my mom. Uh, she's 88 and um, has just been going through a series of medical challenges. And so I was looking for something that would be a little bit more flexible. Than what you were doing. You were in uh, the healthcare business. Healthcare strategy executive. I made big change happen at big healthcare companies. You know, but let me tell you something about making a change now. Sure. You're doing something, and I could tell when I walked in there, you're doing something that you absolutely love to it's do. It's true. It's true. Is that a big transition from healthcare? Oh, it's massive. I went through about uh, three months of shock where <laughs> the line I used was, uh, I haven't broken the shop, and so far the shop hasn't broken me, but it's come real close. Uh-huh. It's, uh, I mean, it's a complete change. There's some skills that transfer, but m many you just wake up every morning and make sure the coffee's good, hot, uh, the pastries are, are ready to go and fresh, and um, there's, a challenge, there's a challenge every step of the way. You know and what, the, and there's somebody staffed there. Oof. You've got some great ladies working there. Really? Let's name them. Uh, I've got, well, uh, Lily Gosca has been there. She's uh, Frank Morris's partner, and so she stayed on. She stayed on with you. Yeah, she's a wonderful person, so, uh, and I, I still get coaching from Frank. You know, every oh, week if I great. can. No, that's so great. did he retire? Retire or just he retired? He re retired. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so, but uh, we still talk. I he still saves my bacon on a regular basis, and <laughs> Lily still makes the weekend special. And then uh, I've got uh, Sarah. I've got uh, Lindsay. I've got Bella. Uh, we just really wonderful people. You and, do. You and, have a and, great staff. And and great they staff. all. Most of them have a story. I mean, uh, about PG Juice and Java. It's been there for thirty years. It's like you were talking about. Now, did did Frank ori originally put Juice and Java on the map? Was he that did? His yeah, thing? exactly right. He um, th uh, thirty years ago, nineteen ninety three, was figuring out what he was uh, going to do and arrived at. He wanted to open a coffee shop, and that space was available. It used to be a bank. It did. Yeah, my wow. back office is now in, in in the vault. Wow! 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 Yeah, it's a great place, folks. If you've never been over to PG or when you come to PG, if you come from the San Joaquin Valley over in Fresno, because, you know, we're on the air in Fresno, too. We have we so many and, people from Fresno who come to Pacific Coast. We try and draw Trail. people it. out of that valley Absolutely. over here to visit and get them over to PG. And I want you all from Fresno that you go into Juice and Java. Say, Scott. We came from Fresno only because we saw you on Monterey on tonight. That and would that's be great. Why we're here. Please come. You'd Introduce be more than yourself to this guy because he's always there, or mostly always there. Try to. I, I mean, that's what you do when you run a coffee shop. Let's talk about hours. Okay, so when do you open? We open at seven thirty, and uh, for most nights we have been closing at six. With the exception of uh, Friday nights for our open mic. Let's talk about, before you go any further, let's talk about open mic, because sure. that intrigues me. The open mic has been a tradition for, gosh, I'd say 20 years. Local. So Frank started doing that. Oh, Frank started doing that, absolutely. And it's what got me more, ah. more I mean, I was a regular customer f since they opened, but I got involved with the open mics about five years ago and play every, every Friday. So now musicians, artists, singers, who shows up for open mics? Yes, yes. Comedians, is that a... We, well, we put up a chalkboard, and if you've got 10 minutes of entertainment to share, we're interested. We've had everybody from... 
poets, comedians, many musicians, um, people bring backing tracks and sing Broadway tunes or uh, mariachi. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we've had uh, great ex- experimental artists. And you don't charge a cover, do you? No. No cover charge. Just walk right in no, and enjoy it. We're about the community. We will, we'd love to have everybody come yeah, by and no, check us out. That is so great. But speaking back to ours, we're going to be, and, and music, we're bring, we've uh, introduced a calendar for music on Thursdays okay. and on Saturdays. So, so I was there a week ago Saturday night because my good friend TJ Kunster was there performing. And amazing, that group that amazing came together, piano player. there was TJ, and TJ, if you've seen this show, former musical director for 35 years with Glenn Campbell. Oh, the real deal. He's so, the real deal is right. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, his daughter's going to open a gig down the Pop street. Pop and hiss. Pop and hiss. Well, as far as we're concerned, we welcome it. We want to... Oh, we'll, yeah. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Because it's, it, you know what people do? They go at your place for a little while, and then they go, well, let's go see who's over there. Well, that's the beauty of it. She's yeah. got a wonderful vinyl collection and her own uh, relationships and music in the peninsula. I think that she's going to do an amazing oh, job. Oh, it's going to be great. Can't be more, than, more happy. And the sushi place right next to you? Nura Sushi. Yeah, no, there's the Nura Sushi, there's Wild Fish, there's Passion Fish. There's so much over there. There's And, and then there's the Monarch Pub, which also has, um, especially on First Fridays, they have great music. So. See, PG's a happening place. Yeah, no, I think that there's Pacific a lot more. Pacific Grove, folks. That's what we're after. We're really looking at bringing more people to downtown. downtown. Yeah, what a beautiful town. You know, that town was in a movie years ago with Tom Hanks. Turner and Hooch. See that? He knows. Uh, absolutely. Turner and Hooch. But did, it, they didn't call it Pacific Grove. They had some phony name. Yeah. But the, where the bank is on the corner it was the police headquarters. I remember that. <laughs> That's true. I hadn't <laughs> thought of that. Anyway, yeah. no, I love what you're doing. I want to help you so much. Oh, thank to you make so it much. A, to make it a happen in place. And uh, are you going to have any music uh, next Saturday night? Next Saturday night's going to be a return of the jazz combo that you saw. So oh. officially uh, for our uh, calendar, we refer to it as the Zach Westfall Jazz Trio. Zach is the person I'm turning to. You're, he, you're working with Zach. Z- yeah. Zach put everything together for that Saturday night, right? Exactly right. He's a PG local. He had played his first op- uh, first performance in public was at PG Juice and Java as a kid. and wow, now he's, as a kid? And now he's this oh deeply accomplished jazz bass player who's gigging with the best players uh, around. You've got drums, bass, you had a sax. That was Armand Sangalang. Okay. He's amazing. Amazing guy. Real Then you of, had TJ on and piano. TJ on, and then you had a trumpet player. My uh, God. Uh, uh, well, so uh, because Zach knows everybody, people will stop by, and that was a guest. Um, Here they are. Yeah. Here they are. There's a uh, picture uh, of There you go. There's Zach playing bass. There's Armand Sangalang, and there's TJ Kunster. Just so, and, and actually, the head down at the bottom in the uh, lower right is the person who picked up the trumpet. I don't know their name. Uh, um, and joined in and was just amazing she, as well. She was fantastic. Too. Oh, absolutely. And and uh, I got to meet uh, a lot of people that were in there that night uh, that just came in. Uh, there was a, a couple of folks. One was a musician, uh, artist, songwriter, composer. Right. Okay. And I'm trying to research them because I got some business cards and I want to get them on the show as absolutely. guests. Well, I, I know. So uh, I'm going to be there again on a Saturday night. Well, the, on a... On a um uh, your episode 70, you interviewed a woman named Patty Gilbert. Yes. Patty comes to our open mics on a regular basis. And one of the things that we're introducing is something that we're calling an artist spotlight, where if somebody's either new to the area or they're a young person, we've had a couple of uh, very young singer songwriters, um, we feature them before the open mic so that we're giving people a chance for the uh, PG in the local area to get to know new artists. And isn't Zach the bass player in the Money Band? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. They... So he works with Zoe Alexander. Zoe's been on this show. I got to get Zoe back here. Absolutely. Yeah. And in, uh, I don't know. Do you talk to Dave Holo Diloff? I Dave is is mandolinist guitarist. He plays Americana. Just amazing music, and he's my Thursday night. He's residency. a Thursday. So you're you're doing music Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights. Correct. And Three then nights on, a week. And on Wednesdays, starting on Wednesday, April seventeenth, we're going to have trivia night. Oh. So we're going to start uh, doing trivia contests and oh, wow. welcome people. Wow, that's great. And what night for comedy? <laughs> well, you know, I would love. There's a lot of things that are being discussed. Um, comedy. 
uh, kids karaoke, singles nights, um, all of which, um, if we can demonstrate that staying open for evenings is going to attract people in, especially with Pop and His coming. Oh, and we for, you forgot to mention the uh, microbrewery happening um, down at uh, Lighthouse on 15th. I think it's called Hops and Fog. Wow, um, wow, wow. So much happening. You know, you talk, if you do one night, maybe Wednesday night, for comedy, I got a guy for you. Do you? He's not here tonight. He's normally our maitre d' in the green room. His okay. name is Charlie Byers. Okay. And Charlie can do a Rodney Dangerfield. In fact, some people say, you look like Rodney Dangerfield. Are you saying you respect him for his Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good. Had to go there. That was great. Sorry. Yeah, don't get no respect. Yeah. No, Charlie, I, I I said, Charlie, you are the perfect guy. I'll buy the red tie for you. You go do Rodney for 10, 15 minutes. You'll knock him out of the park. He is, and he has it down. I mean, he, he can do it. He can do Rodney. That's wonderful. Wouldn't that be great? Well, I would love the thought of being, uh, having the, uh, uh, awareness for my space that if we could do something like a comedy night so it's a wonderful thing to comedy target. would be great would and be we're, great. we're also looking to target private events sure so sure. We, I, again can rent the place out for a private party exactly and that's one of, that gets back to i think uh brandy made a mention of the fact that we're thinking about changing the name you are yeah well wait a minute now i have a problem with that uh oh i'll tell you why tell me you ever hear of gte yeah General Telephone and Electronics. Okay? Right. GTE. What kind of a brand was GTE, Scott? That's like AT&T. Right. right. They were big. They were okay. one yeah. of the big I few. mean, you go GTE, General Telephone Electronics. You know what they did? What did they change their name They to? changed their name to Verizon. Verizon. Why? I promise not to make up a name. Make no. up a word. No. Leave it alone. <laughs> Gary Morris is telling you, leave it alone. Do not change anything. If the motor's running, don't lift the hood. The biggest issue is if we move to something like private events and we're open more evenings than being the uh, juice in Java. Well, but then I'll tell you what. Here's, here's the thing. Underscore juice in Java and then use your other line. That's what we're doing right now. We call it PG juice and Java, PG's meeting house. I like that. So... See, here's, here's something that goes way back to my earlier days. Look, it's on the screen there. There you go. goes back to my earlier days. With my otter mascots, Ralph Waldo Otterson and the Reverend Dr. Anna Howard Ottershaw. They're both oh. uh, Chautauquans. Wow. Um, I, I uh, picked them out because they're uh, related to our history as a town, as a Methodist campground. They were, it was founded by uh, uh, members of the Chautauqua Society, or at least That's frequented. Great. And their uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson yeah. and the Reverend Dr. Anna Howard Shaw were both Chautauquans. Well, see, now I learned something I didn't know. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan. That was very cool. That was great, Dylan. Have we got anything else for uh, for Scott? I, I sent some stuff, but I don't know what else we got. Uh, yeah, I have a few more. Photos. You got a few uh -oh. more? Yeah, put them on. We got time. I like this guy. Doing the best I can. You're, you're doing great. You're... You are giving people in this area a great place to call their own. Well, that's what's so gorgeous is that when people come by, they see it as their space. Yeah. Because it's been there, and and but they see, oh, we can do more with it. Yes. And and you know, I love it when somebody who's a regular in the morning comes and checks out our music events. It's and I noticed. I don't know whether, you know, you and Frank had a thing, but. Look at that. There's, uh, there's a Oh, yeah. No, that's Peter Mellinger, and that's Dave Holodiloff playing the mandolin, and, oh, that's me uh, 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 playing a song with him. With a guitar. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, I noticed that you've really got a lot of pastry there now. Yeah. And I, for one, love pastry. Yeah, we get stuff. And I went in the other day, the chocolate croissant, just, hey, I got to have one of those. Got to have one of those. We've got a relationship with the Peninsula Bakery uh, that's been around for uh, as long as Frank has had the place. And um, I'm about to start a relationship with Lupita's, which is just up the block from this office right here, uh -huh. uh, because Tommy and Alan Morales have a really great business, both for morning things for me, like breakfast burritos. There you go. But also wonderful uh, Latin pastries like uh, puerquitos and conchas. Oh, wow. So we're really, Beautiful. really excited great to, to great keep, idea. keep going. No, I, it knocked me out when I came in, because I hadn't been in since Frank owned it. 
uh, and I don't know why I popped in. I think I was meeting somebody down there. And uh, I said, well, wow. And then I said, where's Frank? He's not here anymore. This is the guy. This talk is to the, the new guy, guy with the hat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Talk to Scott. So you look for him. Uh, Scott Seufer. Well done, sir. Proprietor of Juice and Java and the what? The great... Um, what? PG's Meeting House. PG's Meeting. That's okay. Use that. Yeah, there you go. Good, there it is. Look at that. You can't miss it on the corner. For PG, by PG. Yeah, we're right on the corner of Lighthouse and 16th, one block off Forest. Uh, c- couldn't be easier to find. And again, it's it was one of the oldest buildings in town. And, and you know the best part? Tell me. Free parking. Oh, my gosh. The parking's so easy free around parking. there. Yeah, no, no. There's a lot where of parking Where do you go today where there's free parking? No, it's good stuff. I w- welcome you all and would love for you to come uh, check out our space. It's such a great vibe. You can come there and do some studying, take in some music in the yeah. evenings, hear some new talent, local talent on our open mic. It's really, really a joy to be there. And you viewers do me a flavor, will you? When you go in, you see Scott and say, hey, I saw you on Monterey on tonight. With uh, Gary Morris. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. You're showing our website, Dylan. Yeah, yeah. so like we, this today we had um, uh, Celtic Harper. I'm looking at seeing whether or not we can do Sunday brunches and have, oh, wow. you know, cellists or, or harpists or, mm. you know, good, cool, mellow music. And there's our trivia night. We just uh, settled on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday's April gonna, April seven. Well, Wednesdays is the night, but April seventeenth will be the first one. Okay, so Tuesday's going to be comedy night. Then. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Maybe, huh? Well, we're thinking about that, and, and again, all the other nights that we're thinking. I, I I'm I'm excited. We're gonna, we're gonna keep you there a long time, Scott. I, I I'm excited to see how we can serve the community. You got a so place whatever, to put a bed in the back so you can. Yeah. Okay. I tell you, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're it's gonna true. need it. It's a, it's You're a, gonna need it's it. It's a, gonna com- take off big time. Because uh, you got the pizzazz, you got the, you got the passion for this, uh, business. You it's a, it, it's a beautiful it's space. It's written all over your face. Yeah, no, passion. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's true. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you so much, Gary. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Appreciate having you here tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, a Thanks, little bit everybody. more Luther Vendros right here on Monterey on tonight.